dream last night The dawn world is black and white And all the colors faded away Into different shades of gray And left me staring out of silver eyes dream last night that autumn came from summertime and all the trees around me let all the leaves around me and fill me with their southern light I can see the lightning, hear the thunder, feel the rain. And every time the wind blows, my heart can feel. 
feel the pain As I sit here in the rain Looking up to the sky I know there's a lot of pain Up where the angels fly Test, test, one, two. Yeah, I think we're good. Maybe not. Yeah. Yes. They do. They do. Hey, happy Saturday to you. Man, feels like there's not a whole lot to be happy about these days, but... Keep a stiff upper lip, as they say. You know, try to keep a smile on your face. Even when there's rain clouds above us. And there are rain clouds uh, above us today. I'm going to turn on my automatic scene switcher here and we're going to get going. All right. Something else I didn't start up. Uh, let me get things going here. I need my Sky for some app. All right. Um. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure this is working. Uh, and it is. Yay, finally. And that's working just fine. Music today, as always, so provided by the Pretzel app. If you need the... YouTube safe music for your live stream or Twitch stream. Check out the link in my description for Pretzel. Or just go to Google, type in Pretzel Rocks. You'll find it. It's a song trader company. I'm not getting paid for any of that. So, yeah, we got thunderstorms last night, and if we scan around, well, we do have some blue skies, but there's uh, a lot of a uh, chance of thunderstorm and more rain today. We're going to keep our flights short and sweet today. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to start out with this $11,000 one. I love it. When you have a caravan, you finally start getting paid. $11,000 for nine miles. And from there, it's probably shorter distance back over to co 90 10,900 so while i would like to be it to be more and i think at one point it was and i think they've been finagling the numbers still dang good money so let's go ahead and pick this one here transporter from dispatch good morning good morning the cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking Okay. Transporter from dispatch. Loading sensitive cargo. Please stand by. Transporter. Loading is complete. Let's go. And we will here in just a moment. Battery, alternator, fuel switch pump, ignition, alternate standby, alternator power, our avionics. 
conditioner, propeller, throttle, landing lights, taxi lights, beacon, nav lights, strobe lights, and turn on the starter. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The job requires that we have. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. We need to have 1,545 pounds in cargo. And I think it's already maxed out, but nope. Uh, we better put some fuel in, too. We do currently have the fuel synced to Neofly, so you need to purchase your fuel in here. Since we're doing short runs, don't need a whole lot of fuel. All right. I right, purchased that. Oh, you can't? Okay. If you get that error, you can't do it. I should have checked this beforehand. That figures. Uh, if you uh, do get that message, you can't do this while the engine's running. You don't want to shut everything down. Just bring your conditioner all the way down. Possibly your propeller. It'll think that the engine is shut down. Right? So give it a couple of seconds here, and it'll now. It should think the engine's shut down. All right. If it does shut down, we just got to flip a switch. All right. So still, they want 1,545 pounds. There's 1,008. And if we, you go over it, you get bonus experience points. If you just fill it up. And uh, I need to... Uh, Relaunch this. One moment. It's always one moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. What I'm trying to do is load the Sky for Sims app, which you get with Neofly. And, um. And it will show you the bonuses that you can get. But it's currently minimized and it went to, uh, like a shutdown mode or whatever. I, other way, it's not coming back up, so I need to go into Task Manager and, and terminate it. And then relaunch the thing. Wasn't expecting that, but it'll just take a second here. One moment, one moment. And it wants me to update, not now. Start the server, open Sky for some pad in your web browser. Let's get that done. So we have a big version to play with if we want to. Show everybody. How to, and of course, it's minimized in this screen. Do, 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 do. It's always something. So that's the app blown up, but in the uh. In the simulator here, you're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. You should have it up here on your tabs. Sky for Sim, right? Okay. Unless you set it to automatically connect, which you probably don't, you need to click connect on NeoFly. So go to the main menu, the three bars, click NeoFly, and connect it. So now it's going to sync everything there. Okay. So here, where it shows the payload required, um, minus the weight that we had, it wanted 1,715 pounds. So right now, we're up one plus 135 bonus experience points. So as I slide the payload up, look at the experience points, the plus, the bonuses you get to XP. So holding a little bit of fuel, doing these very, very short runs, keeping the fuel as low as possible. We want to go for broke and max out, max out XP. That's the way to go. I don't want to go so heavy. Probably doesn't matter. Okay, we're ready to go. And we're just doing a run over to 
Hey, fly, get nine miles. All right. I don't believe that they have an ATC here, but we'll tell them we're going north. Tell them we're taxing in case, uh, you know, it's courteous too. just any other traffic that's in the area. In the real world, you know, that's what you do. <clears throat> even if there's no, even if there's no tower, you're supposed to be broadcasting on a Unicom so that <clears throat> any other pilots in the area, they know what you're doing. Now, I think the, I think the actual runway might like be behind us in this place. Let's go up and check. Yeah, it is. So we're behind a building, and we need to flip a UE and go out there, or we take this down and come out that way. Yesterday was fun. Did an Airbus flight yesterday. Follower flight. For follower Friday on social media, FF. If you're on Twitter, they used to we used to do it a lot. Follower Friday, where you would list out all your followers and encourage other people to follow your followers. It was hashtag FF. You know, things fall out of fashion. Everybody's like, oh, it's too much to do, and it's favoritism, and just all the, the junk that comes with a good thing. People end up ruining it. Either way. It still survives uh, in the form of just hashtag FF. You don't have to put all your people. Just put hashtag FF, and it means follower, follower Friday. It's usually a way to just thank your followers. So my FF yesterday was a flight to Las Vegas and then a jump over to Area 51 in an F-35B. And that was a nice, a nice flight yesterday. I don't spend enough time anymore. Um, flying the, the uh, airliners because I've been doing this so much. But it would be nice if I could make the millions of dollars needed to at least even rent. Rent. A uh, Neo. Get in the air and I'll turn up the music for us a little bit here. I have come to love this plane so much. And I realize this is this is ideally what every, everybody should be using these days. Even as trainers. Because everybody's big in America these days. Nobody's small. Everybody's big. And everybody has big friends. Bigger, bigger is the norm now, and so starting people in small trainer planes anymore. I mean, it's it's all right, but after you're done with that, I mean, even then in a small trainer plane, everybody's, you know, it's like wow. Uh, between me and you and the uh, the trainer, between the trainer and I, you know, that's putting a lot of weight on a small plane. Just people are bigger these days. We eat a lot more and. And then if you have multiple friends, everybody's bigger. So you need something like this now, just to start out with. And these are so terribly expensive, and I really wish they would come down in price because everybody needs one. This is the minivan. Uh, this is definitely the minivan of the, uh, of the airplanes. Every every soccer mom should have one of these. All right, let me turn up the music here. I've been spending a lot of time trying to get the audio right and learn about audio ducking and getting uh, the microphone set up right with applications set up right and 
and everything on their own audio channel and yada 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 and i i don't know if you can notice it or not but i have spent a lot of time and i hope everything sounds a lot better than it has been sounding to you yesterday because we were doing sightseeing I turned a lot of the nav aids that I normally have on to help people understand what's going on I turned some of those back on Hey, I could really uh, use some new subscribers. I don't like begging, but your name will appear at the bottom of the screen, the way Mippy Meat has been. He's been commanding the lead for a week now, well, almost a week, being the latest subscriber, and I'm putting the latest subscriber on the uh, cover art of each of each uh, title graphics or whatever you want to call them, the YouTube cover art. So if you would like to see your name in the lights, at least for a while, please hit that subscribe button and I will uh, return the favor and immediately run over, or as soon as it pops up, run over and subscribe. Let's put this up here. Where are we? Aha. So if you like seeing things that way, I got this lovely little map here, which is part of Sky for Sim. Runway 33. That's it. We're here already. it up yeah I'm going the wrong way sir it's quite all right so this is Colorado Springs Colorado and as you can see we've got clouds moving in all around us but we've got some open patches of sky here which we can work our way through nothing too scary yet no heavy 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 thunderstorms we had some pretty good rain last night Open for some more today. But nothing that should cause us any problems flying. I say now. I am, uh, you know, in the simulator anyway, instrument rated. So we should be just fine. Visibility or, visibility or no visibility? We'll be all right. This is uh, the airport that my dad learned how to fly out of when he was a younger guy. And if I ever get brave enough to go get my licenses and do my training, I'm going to be training from right here. This is about 10 minutes away. Maybe 15 at the most from my house. Not far at all. And where we grew up on the north side of town, yeah. Maybe 15, 20 minutes to get out here. But he only um, he only did his visual flight rules training. It was in the 70s. Late se mid 70s, late 70s, somewhere in there. He never got to fly anything cool like this. But he had a Piper Cherokee that was mighty cool. But I have to say, now that I know, I have been learning and learning and learning and learning for years now as much as I can about flying and what it would take to get your licenses. And I think I'm now more afraid of flying than ever before. 
Because one, when you start just doing this is for fun in the simulator, it's a hoot. When you try try to master everything and do everything perfect, and stuff still goes wrong, boy, it's a. Uh, So yeah, try as hard as I might to do everything right with my flight sometimes, stuff goes wrong. And I think that, uh, that that's what I tell people these days, they're like, are you going to fly? Are you going to go out and learn how to fly? Um, I don't know. It scares me now more than ever because I'm accident prone and I do things wrong sometimes and stuff goes wrong. I don't even have any of the... you know, um, emergency failures or failures set on. Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. So that was an easy 11,000. We'll go out to the other end where the gas is. Just cruise on down the runway. I've heard the place has fallen into disrepair, but then everybody, I hear occasionally that, you know, they, they've got it cleaned up. and But for a long time, I was reading reports on it like oh this airport sucks and full of potholes and avoid this going to this airport at all and that's sad to hear because we've got the coolest name of all it's k-fly the coolest icao all right so again not shut your engine down all the way just go to your conditioner Pull your conditioner down. Put your propeller down. And as soon as it thinks the uh, engine is off, we should get our... If everything goes right, it should tell us we got paid. Okay, there Pop, we go. Removing the fragile goods may take a little longer than normal. Stand by. All right, while she's doing that, I'm looking for another job. Filtering it all by distances, 11,333 over to CO4, 11,671 to CO4. Transporter from dispatch, good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. We're ready, Alana, we're ready. Let's do it. Air crew, be advised, today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the...
a lot of cross countries in the last mostly the last month money has not been the concern it's been just doing cross country and um so yeah i'm gonna take a little time today to make a uh, make a make us a little bit of money i am still just renting this plane so we do have our rental expenditures per day so it's good to make sure we try to make something every day uh that is one of my uh, uh i guess it just depends but i think my tip would be don't buy or don't buy your planes rent your planes one bad day one mistake and all your money's gone. So rent your planes. Five hundred. Good tune. That wasn't the softest landing I've seen. Are you kidding me? That was a good one. That was a darn good landing. drawn in a penalty here I don't think they penalize you at all for not following proper taxi easy money Look for another one. The fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. 
What is she talking about? We didn't pick another job. Mm, it says we do. That's the one we want. Ten thousand nine hundred. CO90. Air crew, be advised, today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. Great stuff, great stuff. 34 minutes after the hour. You're watching Sky Dude on YouTube. And we're off again. Ah, easy money. I thought that last one was a good. I thought that was a good landing. But you know, the computer's always right. Gentlemen, let's get to it. Charlie Oscar Niner, zero traffic, Kineas, two one seven miles northwest, six thousand eight hundred feet inbound to land runway one seven. Although I gotta tell you, if if there's any reason for me to actually go out and learn how to fly, this would be it. 
Look at this kind of money you're making for short hops. I don't know how close this is to the real world and the money that they make out there. 21 miles, $11,000. I'm in all day long. The money we've already made in these three flights, we're up like almost $30,000. Way better than an Amazon delivery driver. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, watch yourself. Sorry about that. Fly is not responding. Come on now. He's making too much money. There Transport from dispatch. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. Alrighty. Can you do that. What time is it? It was a little after the bottom of the hour. 42 minutes after the hour.
All right. Transporter from dispatch. Everything seems okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. So what's up with this one? Start your engine. Uh, the engine's not running. Here we go. Twelve thousand dollars back over to the airport we just came from. Nine miles. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. Flight crew, be advised the fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. We have secured it the best we can. Please taxi with caution. All right. Man, you've had enough. Clouds are getting thicker. I should take him off the radios.
It's starting to get a little hazy right where we're headed. Hello! Hey! That drone all over the place today. Hey there. Yeah, those are looking mighty angry. I knew it was close, but wow, really that yep, did we just pass it? How oh, stupid. Yeah. I didn't even see our entry. Yes. Duh. But I didn't see our I didn't even see our entry. But I get for relying on technology. That's so weird we didn't get our, our box. So one technique is when it's right off your shoulder. begin your turn. Seems awful short, but that's the philosophy. Doesn't it seem way short? I mean, following the standard procedure of landing, when it's right off your shoulder. Yeah, you come in way fast, way hot. Too fast. Go 
Hello. We have touchdown. She was all happy with that one. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. When I put the engine into reverse thrust, that was pretty that was a lot. Did it take? Good, yeah, we're in reverse thrust. Don't normally use it. I apologize to all the professional pilots and real world pilots out there when you see me doing the things that I do. Big one is uh, over to KFly, 10,181. Yeah, 11.9, so 12. Over to CAF, the Air Force Academy. Let's go for that one instead. Oh, I did. Ground crew is waiting to carefully load the crates for you in the parking. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. The fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. We have secured it the best we can. Please taxi with caution. Charlie Oscar 4 traffic Kinias 21 taking off runway 17 departure to the west. Um, while the engine is still in low mode, let's check our fuel. Yeah, we're doing good, but put in a little bit more. Uh, this one requires 1,512 pounds. Yeah, we still have it. Sometimes the darn thing freezes up. Let me double check. Yeah, there's nothing that should be preventing us from going. There it goes.
transporter. Have a nice flight. Keep the cargo secure. Clean it up a little bit. That angry cloud got a little happy. Good for you, man. That's what today is about. Just forgetting about how crazy things are out there. And the horrible things we write on social media and in frustration. The people that we become when the world goes crazy. But the world's going crazy. Looks like a little dirt track down there. Woohoo! So yeah, get get happy cloud. Unless you're gonna rain. Could definitely use some right over there. About 20 miles that way. I wish all of those would turn into grumpy clouds and start dumping. Looks like they are dumping a little bit. If I'm seeing right, right over there. But just a touch more right there where that kind of gray cloud is. Yeah, you. That's it. I'm talking about you. If you could kindly please dump in that area, the security wide field area, this area here on the map. Let's, let's see. Right here. This is what I'm talking about. This area right here. So clouds, if you could please, right there. Left downwind. Fly left downwind runway 16 C. Hey, Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. He's my invisible co-pilot. I want to see if he'll do this landing for us without killing us. Take it, baby. Don't kill us. He's been giving me fits. Not only is the world off, all the computers are off. I don't know about you, but I've been doing a lot of flying in the last month. And um, maybe you've noticed it too. All the AI, all the all the 
ILS, everything. Everything seems to be a little bit off. Especially the uh, AI co-pilot. He's not on the center line anymore. He's not getting stuff right. He's Today, he's following the GPS pretty good. Yesterday, he was off. He just wouldn't... He wouldn't. He couldn't follow a vector, Victor, and he. And then trying to land in Las Vegas yesterday, I simulated the landing multiple times to see how he would do before I live streamed because I didn't want to look like a jerk. And yeah, he crashed like nine times out of ten. I had to go in through. Uh, and this is just setting it up randomly, you know, setting it up from the main menu. So I had to go to the main menu and specifically make sure that uh, the runway air traffic control had been calling in is the runway I selected and um, set her for low, low altitude airways and an ILS runway. And he's still, I mean, uh, he was doing it, but he was still about, no, no, he was way right of the center line coming down. The first week I started doing Sky Dude activities, the career stuff, uh, I would test him every day. In the first week, he couldn't even take off right or taxi right. He was having major problems. He would uh, he would go down the middle of the runway and completely go off the right side. He's got a, a, a tendency to pull right all the time. So he was going off the runway completely to the right and kind of like paralleling the runway down. And then one time I was in Colorado Springs at the municipal airport just back there a little ways and um it's we were near the uh, airport itself so it was gonna be a quite a, a lengthy taxi you know there's no problem with there were obstructions along the way there are some bumps in the road either way I just assigned him just to taxi me out to the runway and he crashed the plane and that was one of the ones I owed I owned Unbelievable. He totaled the plane on a taxi. There's a hospital down there. Picking up a little uh, lag going on. I'm noticing a lot of micro lag today. Catching that? Yeah, that's not nice. Say no to micro lag. I'm looking forward to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It looks like it's going to be a beast, but then they're saying they're going to make it more efficient. But I don't know how you're going to do that. You're introducing superior, superior technology, but then you're going to try to make a thin client. We'll see. Be nice if you could demonstrate it with this, and we could have a wicked improvement on this. And there's no more micro lagging. And more of a thin client with this before you make that transition to demonstrate unto us uh, so far so good but I say that and then he jacks up the landing Yeah, why are we getting such lag? Crazy, man. Let's see if there's anything running that shouldn't be running. Well, yeah, Steam. Steam does need to be running. FSU IPC doesn't really need to be running. That's such a small little thing, though. That's it. It's all good, bad, and the ugly. We grew up some good films, man. 
I mean, sometimes they were schlocky, 70s. Special effects, of course, were, but they had to do better. Now famous meme from the good, the bad, and the ugly, where they're all staring each other down. It's just Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef and why can't I think of his name? Eli Wallach doing the stare scene. And now the memes where they in interject all the other people into it cracks me up. Come on, Rain. Let's have it. I'll let you know if normally when it thunderstorms here, I'll be able to hear it even with my headphones on. So I'll report if it starts pouring. This is the airfield for trainees and others at the Air Force Academy. The stadium is that way, and then the Air Force Academy itself is that way. It's quite a ways away from here. I think that's the stadium over there. Either way, there's some distance between here and there. We're not at the facility proper proper. It's funny, I don't pay much attention anymore when driving past and I drive past frequently but when I was a kid because I wasn't doing the driving I could spend all my attention on uh, usually seeing gliders my dad was always pointing them out he was good about that he had eagle eyes But when you're on I-25 just down there, and you're traveling north or southbound right through this area, you can catch a lot of flight activity. And then they have another little runway over there uh, beyond the hill. It's And it's you can't even make it out from the highway, but they've got a, a little airstrip over there. So yeah, adobo definitely needs adobo. Yeah, a sobo. Definitely needs to uh, demonstrate that technology that they're going to put, at least some of it, the thin client stuff, and making things run a little bit better. They're running really good. I mean, I don't have the beefiest machine, but... You know, and all the AI to be on spot on center line. Come on. Come on, Steve. That's so hopeful, Steve. You're, you seem like you're almost right on today. Now you see like you're going a little to the left to compensate. You had a big pull to the right problem yesterday. Steve, my, my man. Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. Well. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Yeah, this touchdown was uh, about as good as I've been doing today, so I guess I can't complain that much. But yeah, that was pretty wide off. And that's life and death. Just pull over, Steve. Take it from here. Academy ground, Kinia's 2-1 taxi to parking. Kinia's 2-1 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Charlie. No, I don't think so. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Charlie Kinia's 2-1. Let's get paid. Okay, pilot. Removing the fragile goods may take a little longer than normal. Stand by. 
This is where the money happens. Transporter from dispatch. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Hmm. Three flights all going to the same place. And one of them is 10,000, one of them is 11, and one of them is 12. Which one should we pick? My thoughts exactly. Yeah, none of these others are even close. 12, 2. There's 12, 4. That's across town. I mean, it's pr probably, yeah, not that much difference, but we'll go to K-Fly. Transporter from dispatch. It's a sensitive cargo mission today. When you check the payload in the flight plan, please release the parking brake to start. Transporter from dispatch. Loading sensitive cargo. Please stand by. Really, they're not giving us any. <laughs> they're not giving us any takeoff options. And then they're going to yell at us for not being authorized to take off. So they get for not paying attention. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. We're not following orders. Uh, hopefully that toggles off. Well, let me see if I make it over there to where they were saying to taxi and if it'll toggle. Yeah, right here. I just want to taxi out of here. I'm not getting any tower. Oh well. Well, I'll tell you what's on my mind. Well, later. Come on. You're not that heavy. Come on. Brakes is sticking. Every path you choose, every detour you take. 
Transporter, have a nice flight. Keep the cargo secure. Yeah, lock third takeoff. See if we can't spot those other little runways that they have over here beyond this ridge. Go this way. Yeah, we're clear. Hey, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. Hope you're having a great day, Captain. Just doing a bunch of short runs today, trying to make some money. Please remember to like and subscribe so I can return the favor ASAP. That will also put you on the bottom of the screen there. Love to have your name there. Mimpy Meat's been holding uh, the lead down there for the last week. I'm a good fan and follower, really. I'll follow, I'll like, I'll hit notify. So just trying to find all these super short runs that are paying incredible money. Last week was mostly cross country, and I plan to do some more. This time, maybe out, to, you know, to the to the west coast. Oh, actually, you know, let's go 33. So yeah, probably up, uh, I don't know, I haven't calculated it at all. We're probably up about 30 grand, 40 grand already. So not a bad day at all. This is Meadow Lake Airport, just east of Colorado Springs, uh, where my dad trained when he was a young guy. I remember that he took me up in the plane to practice stalls. Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't scared. It just. I wasn't used to that sensation, just so I don't think I want to relay the uh, how I described that particular sensation at like nine years old. 
but boy, they laughed and laughed. But no, I wasn't afraid. I mean, I, I, you know, it's one of those things. I, you, you trust your dad. At least I did. I had a 1970s dad, and those guys were like impervious to everything. Or they, you know, kind of like real men. I almost want to say that the last, the 70s men were like the last of the real men. But anyway, I wasn't afraid. My dad could do anything. I thought he was Superman. So. I... He really was in a lot of ways. But anyway, yeah. I loved flying with him. But he didn't get instrument rated. And, you know, I haven't done it in the real world. Uh, and he's he's gone now. But I'm sure he'd be happy to know that simulator-wise, instrument rated and can fly almost anything at the moment. I can't get the helicopters down, and I think that's just a controller thing. I've done everything they've said. I've read all the articles on it. I've gone through all the different setup procedures for the helicopter, and I just can't get it. I've got on all the auto assist to make it as easy as possible. And when it first came out and I would fly the bell, I didn't have a problem. But now I just can't get anything to function properly. So I'm kind of bummed about that. I don't want to have to get another joystick because I know it works. But I don't spend a lot of time in those. But I do, uh, you know, I try to fly everything now. Uh, including all the airliners. I think he'd be most impressed with the airliners. Programming MCDU and FMC, yada, yada, yada. I think uh, he'd be really Im impressed with ILS landings. He was brave. He had a, an ultralight for a while. But I was, uh, I was really busy at the time. I was getting ready to graduate high school and I wanted to immediately run off to Kansas City to the Art Institute and uh, and enroll over there. So I was in my own little world and I, I really regret it now because right around that time he, he got into ultralights and I never, I never went up with him and then my mom freaked out one day and told him to sell the thing. And he listened to her. It must have been bad. Oh, I'll have to ask my mom about that one of these days. Was it what 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 happened? I just heard your mom's mad at me. I'm gonna stand and sell the ultralight. time to engage your flaps oh this is going to be brutal transporter from dispatch go to the parking so we can check the cargo status as I'm over here saying oh, I can I can fly anything I didn't say well <laughs> have those days yeah I don't know what compelled me to go ahead and try putting in full flaps over the runway I don't know the muscle twitch that's that's it it's a muscle twitch we'll check the hole here in a minute see how much damage I did come over here to neo fly click on the hanger it's it's figuring out what I've done it's gone into hold on it's not responding it's thinking about what we've just done there well I can't I shouldn't say we you're not involved okay pilot removing the fragile goods may take a little longer than normal stand by yeah I destroyed the hull
so to uh, re to to trade it in and rent another one, they're still gonna take it out of the deposit. But I'm gonna I'm gonna return it. I wanted a new livery anyway. So they're going to take $148,000 out of the deposit. Well, that's fine. That was a really dumb thing to do. And I did it on a live stream. That's more embarrassing. Okay. Next big paying job, 11-7 over to the Air Force Academy. That is definitely <laughs> the music. <laughs> like, yeah, the poor plane. So we need to rent another caravan. The pit special. No, that's... Come on, I want a caravan. The Kenmore livery. nice yellows the emerald livery I'm sure I have it I should probably just get it based on the distance distance 300 Save us some money. Twelve miles. Oh, there's one here. Ah, uh, but it's that's the one we just crashed. But it's fixed now. And that's just the standard. Yeah. Hello, pilot. Let's see what's on the books for you today. Yep. Eleven seven oh five. I'm back to the Air Force Academy. Transporter from dispatch. It's a sensitive cargo mission today. When you check the payload in the flight plan, please release the parking brake to start. Aircrew, be advised. Today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. Still no major threat of rain or bad weather.
Come on. So just doing these short runs doesn't help that I crashed the plane and uh, kind of there goes our money for the day. Transporter, good flight and land softly. Yes, ma'am. Don't be doing what I did last time. Colorado Springs front range out there with all the uh, mountains obscured in the clouds lovely 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 nice and cool today sun not beating down on us mercifully mercilessly mercifully All the way to Denver. Cloud coverage along the front range. They have some fantastic musicians and singers on this station.
maybe she just might. 38 minutes after the hour. Kenny is the sky dude on uh, YouTube live stream. Can't say YouTube TV. They actually have YouTube TV now. But in a kind of way, yeah. It's kind of like YouTube TV. Coming in for landing here at the Air Force Academy. Short runs in cloudy skies. I think I'm about ready to move on from the country station, though. I mean, I really, I, I enjoy it. enjoy it a lot. I Xeroxed. Trying to do too many things at once. That darn uh the darn radio station. Doesn't want to give me the uh statement. There it goes. It got really busy here. Oh, not again. It's 
sounds awful quiet. How did I manage to turn pretzel all the way? Oh my gosh. We're trying to land and screw with the radio station. I asked for the alternative station. It's acting all buggy. Oh well, we'll get landed and then we'll deal with the radio station. Now caught up. Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. Okay. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. Transporter. Cargo unloading in progress. Stand by, pilot. Transporter from dispatch. Everything seems okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. Almost 12,000 back to Cave Lie. Can't pass it up. But here's one to 1246 to Butts. I haven't gone there yet today. Let's do that. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by.
All right, just tuning in. We are at the Air Force Academy, and they're one of their places. And we're gonna travel south across Colorado Springs, over to the Army Airfield, KFCS. Very very short run. Very very good money. And the weather has not been a factor at all today yet. Hello, stop. We got to get better brakes on this thing. I wish we could customize our planes. Definitely better brakes. Better brakes and better lighting. What's up with the lights? Things so dark. In the hell do pilots see at night? You see all those commercials for like the Bell and Howl? This thing will cook eggs. This flashlight will cook your dinner. It will be seen for 200 miles. And then you got these lights on these planes and it's like, uh, I can't, I still can't see the runway. Come on. They should be selling aircraft lights. Taking the flaps out. He really brought it down. Yeah, we'll be traveling. Let's just get over to I-25 here. Travel right, right through Colorado Springs. Yeah, we might lag a little bit because of all the buildings and cars and. But this is uh, when you come in from the Air Force Academy, first major big turn here. This is unacceptable. This is moving too slow. I'll have to reduce the graphics. And I think in the... Keep it the wrong thing. <laughs> Don't like doing it, but... Let's see if that helps at all. I have the texture set to high in the AMD graphics. That would require a restart. Oh, you like crap. Sometimes she got a mind of her own, sir. Let's drop everything to medium. And then we don't need all this. Don't need that. Don't need this for sure. Really? You're still going to be buggy? Really?
Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So traveling down I-25 here. Around the uh, west side of Colorado Springs. To really be through the heart of it, you'd want to go on Academy Boulevard, which was a couple miles back. It's a split. Take you right through it. But this will take you to downtown. Which is just ahead of us here. People are like, that's it? That's your downtown? That's the biggest buildings you have? And they laugh and laugh and laugh. Yeah, that's it. Don't want to obstruct the view to the mountains. This power plant up here in front of us has been here since the time of Nikola Tesla, and they're dismantling it. It's been, you know, my whole life and people's lives before me. Yeah, now they're starting to dismantle the whole thing. Motor City over here underneath us. This whole big thing right here is just this just car lot city. Quite goofy. Making all these cars that you don't know that people are going to buy. And they just pump out thousands of them. Instead of doing cars on demand, which they can do now, the manufacturing process is so fast. I mean, cars on demand, we waste so much resources. That's just the American way, I suppose. Maybe I shouldn't be bitching about that. So, this is the south end, this would be Circle Drive. Right over here, the World Arena coming up here and off to our one o'clock. The hockey center right behind it. Yeah, right there. The World Arena. Yeah. Coming up on exit one thirty five. Right. At our one o'clock again. Well, kind of noon. Right here is exit 135 to Academy Boulevard where it reconnects. And this is we'll go, we'll go ahead and take our turn here. We'll travel in towards the uh, Fort Carson military base. We're entering it now. All of this pretty much out here is <laughs> Fort Carson military base. All of it, it's big. It's a big place. So yeah, all of this. Military base, military base, military base. The lagging is killing me today. Unacceptable. And then right over here, they have the Army Airfield.
We'll be all right once the nose comes up. He's been on me today about the landings. Big time. I get it though. I did. I think that is going to do it for today. Yeah, we're at the top of the hour. So, short jobs. Short jobs and... Transport from dispatch. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. Cloudy skies. Mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. Ready for engine start. 